The Dublin Shamrocks were off to a hot start this season, mainly in part due to our star running back Brian Robinson Jr. But since he was playing so good at the halfback position, I wanted to see how good he really could be by playing him at quarterback for our next game. Our very first play of the game would be a pass as he would connect with Curtis Samuel, but just like the rest of the season, we were going to have to rely on the running game most of this matchup. Brian Robinson would be facing his first third down as he would roll out of the pocket and he would use his running back speed to pick up the first down, as that speed is not something we're used to seeing from Jacoby Brissett in the pocket, but this play is as Brian Robinson would throw his first interception of the day. I wanted to try to get his confidence back as we would run a quick little shovel pass to Terry McLaurin, and we were facing another third down as Robinson would get it quick out of his hands to avoid the pressure. We were now facing another third down, and we would use Brian Robinson's legs again on the read option as he would show off his speed, and this drive was starting to look promising as he would connect with Terry McLaurin, and that would bring us all the way into the red zone, but unfortunately this drive would halter as Brian Robinson would throw his second interception of the day, and so I decided maybe we should go back to Jacoby Brissett for the second half. That did unfortunately mean we no longer could use Brian Robinson as a halfback the rest of this game, but that's okay because we were in good hands with Antonio Gibson. After the Seahawks were tied up at 7 apiece, we would take our second lead of the day with this field goal, but the Seahawks were now up by 4 and they were looking to strike again to extend this lead. Thankfully on third and goal, we would force some pressure on Geno Smith as he would throw this out of the back of the end zone and the Seahawks would have to settle for only three. This was a big third and goal as we had a chance to tie the game up at 17 but that run went nowhere so we would go for it on fourth and goal and what a pass as Jihad Dotson would hold on to it and we were tied at 17 and now we would take the lead as up by seven we needed a stop on second and goal as Geno Smith was gonna throw right to Kendall Fuller who would pick him off to seal this game for us, as even though it was an ugly win, a win is a win as we take this 24 to 17 with Brian Robinson playing a whole half at quarterback for us. The Giants defensive line gave us a lot of trouble last matchup against them and it looked like they were going to continue giving us trouble this game as well. Thankfully both offenses seemed to be out to a rough start to start this game as we both would go three and out, but no matter what we did in the first quarter, our offense just couldn't get anything going. It had been an extremely rough day as this would be the first pass of the day Jacob Kobe Brissett would complete. We somehow managed to score first though today, but New York wasn't far behind us as they were looking to score, but we would get a stop on third and goal and they would be forced to settle for only a field goal. With 40 seconds and counting, we were trying to move down the field before half ended, but with a lack of our offensive line, they would force us to just run the clock out instead. The Giants were now putting together a promising looking drive to open up the second half to try and get some points, as we would help them out on second and goal with a passing interference call, which Daniel Jones would take full advantage of and take this in for a touchdown. Now down 17 to 7, we needed to get points on this possession, but Jacoby Brissett would throw a signature interception of his, as the Giants then would turn that into three more points to end this game, as we would lose this division matchup at home, dropping this one 20 to 7, with a horrible offensive output of only 150 total yards this entire game. Our offense was going to have to play a lot better if we wanted any chance at beating the Cowboys this week. So early on in this game, we would try to get the run game going on our first possession, but it was going absolutely nowhere for us as we would end up going three and out to start this game. Dak and the Cowboys offense were putting together a very promising looking opening drive for themselves, but thankfully we would come up clutch and only force a field goal. The Cowboys would follow it up with one more before the end of the first quarter, and we were now down by six nearing the two minute warning, so we needed some points quickly. We would get those much needed points this drive as Jacoby Brissett would find Logan Thomas who would fight his way into the end zone, but we weren't the only team looking for points as Dallas wanted to score before for halftime and they were pretty close to getting those points but our defense was stepping up big time but unfortunately we would not be able to hold them on third down. That touchdown would send us into the second half trailing by six and so that meant we needed to get this stop and thankfully we would but we're now down by two to the Cowboys in the fourth quarter as our defense would come up clutch again and force a third field goal today but with our offense not being able to put up any points on the board we needed another stop and it wasn't looking like that was going to happen as the Cowboys would pick up one more first down here and force us to use our last timeout as all they would have to do is take a knee and we would end up losing our second game in a row as the Cowboys would take this 19 to 14. We were now on a two game losing streak which was the longest we've had all season long as that loss currently put us at 7 and 5 in second place in the NFC East division which somehow was still enough for us to hold on to that number 5 seed in the projected playoff picture. That meant this upcoming game against Miami was a must win for us. Miami would start out with the ball 
ball and we would have a chance to stop them on third down but couldn't get the stop so that would lead them down to the red zone and on first and goal we would almost get a pick six and our defense was still standing strong as on second and goal they were still not able to get in the end zone and on third and goal we'd bring the heat but Tua would find Tyreek Hill and the Dolphins would now be up 10 to 7 as we were driving down the field looking to score some points on this drive and we would gain some extra help from a roughing the passer flag on the Dolphins here as that would move us down inside the 10 yard line and our plan was to pound the rocket that plan would pay off on third and goal as Brian Robinson would go in untouched and we had the lead now but Miami was looking to take it back right before halftime if our defense could get a stop here right before halftime this could keep the momentum going our way into the second half and on third and goal our defense would come up with a huge pass breakup but Miami wanted to go for it on fourth and goal as it would be play action and our defense would come up clutch again so after getting that stop we were now looking to score to open up the second half and we found ourselves in our own fourth down situation which we would go for and pick up the running game had been working great for us so far to start the second half today and with another fourth down we would stick with it as Brian Robinson would find his way into the end zone and we were now up 21 to 10 over the Miami Dolphins and Curtis Samuel would make a great move to break a tackle and extend our lead this game wasn't over yet though as the Dolphins still had time to try and make a comeback but on fourth and six we would get another stop and with great field position that would lead quickly to another six points for us and ultimately would help us break the losing streak as we would take this one 35 to 17 with that win we would now be tied for first place in the division with the Cowboys at eight and five and although we hadn't gained any ground in the playoff picture we were still holding on to that fifth seed so with four games left in the season that meant we had to win as many of them as possible to try to hold on to a playoff spot <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,